Hi everyone, I'm Maddie and I'm reporting for BBTV Music and we're here at Nambuka in North London with Lucy and the Rats. Hi guys. Hello. 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 Can we just take a minute and can you guys go through and introduce yourselves to everybody and tell us a fun and interesting fact about yourselves? It's Manu's birthday today. Happy birthday. Yeah. Okay, yeah. He's older and grumpier. Um, I'm Lucy of Lucy and the Rats and um, really interesting fact about me is I play bass in the Rats. That's cool. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. And I sing sometimes. Every now and then and I really feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> When these guys can't do it. <laughs> I'm Joe. I'm a builder. <laughs> what do you build? Houses. Houses, nice. We all need houses. Hello, my name is Mike. I uh, learn how to speak English, but uh, right now I, I know how to say, according to this map, just around the corner. <laughs> and that is always handy whenever you're getting a cab anywhere in London. So that's good to know. Okay, so you guys recently did a tour with the Buzzcocks. Mm. Can you tell me how that went? Uh, yeah, it was wonderful. So um, we played the Roundhouse in London, which is really cool for us because, I mean, it's a stupid, crazy big venue that you only see, like, other big, you know, you don't go there very often. Um, no, and, and the Buzzies, they're wonderful. So um, just old buddies and um, it was a really cool tour. And I think we fit really well with them as well. So, yeah, yeah okay. people dug it. So it's a pop thing and I've known them for yonks. So um, they were quite surprised to hear the pop the really pop element, so yeah. um, hadn't heard this band before. Okay, so what was the biggest venue that you guys played of this year? Well, just said it, yeah, Roundhouse. Roundhouse? Yeah. Here we go, I've got a magic wand. You guys can play any gig, anywhere in the world. Where would you play? CBGB. <laughs> CBGB, oh, I like that. Which is close, but... Yeah. It's impossible, I've got a magic wand, so <laughs> yeah. technically, in this world, it is possible. However... Yeah. I played CBGBs. <laughs> I played CBGBs. <laughs> I would like to play in my town. Where's your town? A uh, beginner. Okay, fabulous. Yeah. Do you know beginner? Uh, no, I don't. It's a small town from Al Alicante. Oh, I love Alicante. Yeah. Fly into that every time yeah. I go to Spain. Yeah, south yeah. of Spain. Yeah. Is it a small town? Yeah, I really think. Okay then, so what have we got coming up in 2017 for all the fans? Any headline tours? Any support tours you're allowed to tell us about? Uh, we got our first LP coming out. Fabulous. Yeah. Um, and that should be on, um, yeah, actually, haha, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> delete, edit that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so our first LP is coming out, um, this year, yeah. and, oh, this coming year, and, and our third single, um, and just preparing for that and doing a couple festivals for the moment and, yeah. and getting ready to do a little bit of touring and get around, yeah. How exciting. Yeah. So how long does that take you to write then? To write the record, probably a year and a half, like with some bits and pieces left over. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So I guess since we've been together, we've just been putting together songs and then, you know, like chose the, 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 the crop to record. So what else is your influence when you're writing? Um, I'd f personally, influences when I'm writing is f um, melodic um 50s 60s pop yeah so girl groups really 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 dig the um complex melodies on a simple chord structure so what sort of message do you want to get out of there with you with your music um the message is that there's no message <laughs> it's just what it is yeah just play what the fuck you want man like i guess like to me we're just friends that all get it like and we just come up with the sound that we came up with we had another lineup before and um, it was a completely different sound, and that's how it should be. Like yeah. we're, you know, like it's evolved. Yeah, it's evolved, and has. everyone just adds their piece. And um, you know, like I'll come to the band with a bit of a skeleton of a song, but then the band makes the body. Like, it, yeah. and and um, and it's not really meant to make any point. It's what we do. It's for kicks, and we just love music. So, how was a festival season for you guys this year? Any big ones? Any small ones? Any this ones year? That stick out? No, we just went to Italy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. about it. Any festivals coming up next year? Yeah. No. We oh. Play in Galicia in a surf in the Lerith. Okay. Yeah. Did you know about that, Lucy? The shots about that one. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing Hamburg, Get Lost first, which is a very good one. Best city in the world. And maybe Mexico and Puerto Rico. Wait, Puerto Rico. wait. Wow, wow. Guys, <laughs> ask to do this. That sounds fabulous. <laughs> okay, so was your favourite gig of 2016 the Buzzcocks one, or have you got a one that sticks out in particular? 
Mm. After mm. after all the gigs with, that we did with uh, Bascox, we've been playing at really a small venue in in London at uh, Masquerade Bar. Yeah. That was my really? yeah. Oh yeah, the more yeah we didn't sleep and we <laughs> yeah. smashed it. And <laughs> Mike came up. I think, I think, uh, I think the uh, the best guy, is, uh, the best gig, the best gig is is going to be today. Hey. Here we go. Well, Spoken let's well. So. I yeah, know. that's because you didn't play that one very well. <laughs> <laughs> we only think about the future, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Today is the best, and next tomorrow. The best. Than today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, coming from you, that's great. <laughs> so, do you guys prefer playing really small, intimate venues where you've maybe got a small capacity, or do you like playing the big stages with loads of people? We feel more comfortable in uh, small venues and yeah. stuff. Yeah. No, I like that. Okay, so I personally, Lucy, love discovering sort of ballsy female-fronted bands um, because I mean it has been described numerous times by various people in the music industry as a really dominated by men industry uh, i know you've been in this industry for a very long time now have you sort of had any experiences regarding that or have you seen any changes or progression with regards to women sort of feeling more empowered in the industry or anything like that um that's a uh i'm glad you asked it's 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 a really weird um situation for women so underground scene obviously women are uh, um really welcomed um and uh, there's a so many inspired women um oh actually not so many it's, it is more men to women but it's just like a it's a um subculture you know so people are kind of more interested in what you're into than your gender however um as you progress a little bit more it's harder to be taken seriously i've found in the past unfortunately um as a woman playing in a girl i used to play in an all-girl band yeah. um so it took a little bit more time in an all-girl band to be taken seriously and um, personally i think um playing with men um this band quickly was taken seriously yeah. um and that, that's really unfortunate it's um quite sad that it takes yeah that uh, it think. is i mean you know it, it, there's like really um i guess with the male dominated thing a lot of people assume that um you know i'm just a singer people don't really realize that i write the songs um or you know just don't really like say oh a bass player i've been a bass player for 16 years i've been a singer for two years so um I guess but it's very good play. <coughs> yeah um <coughs> so it's it's, it's it is quite interesting and it's something that women will probably likely grapple with yeah. um for a while and i don't think um i just think women are kind of forced to prove themselves a little bit more yeah um, has that changed any time since so you've been playing bass for 16 years when you started have you seen any sort of like difference or is it still exactly no the same? I think it's still exactly the same I think it's um I think it's just really based on where your heart is and for women women a little uh, judged a little bit more so yeah. um so if you're in it for the wrong reasons you'll get busted pretty quickly people are pretty ready to judge yeah. women unfortunately well, let's hope that next year brings a bit more of a change in that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's really good and I really love... I mean, for me, girl sounds is the best sound in the world. I have a fetish for female vocals. I really love it. And, and this band isn't intended to have female vocals. It just is how it, it is. ended up. Um, <laughs> but that's that's what I grew up on. And, and, um, and I know a lot of people that have. But, um, yeah, so... Yeah, I can't see things changing, but I think I see a lot of women stepping up more and more. So yeah. it's really good. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if you guys got any final thoughts that you want to add, any thoughts on the gig this evening? So we're, we're, we're yet to witness it, but I'm sure it's going to be absolutely fabulous. I think Mike wants to talk about Java developing. Oh yeah, Mike. Tell us all good. about. Can tell you tell us. us about Scrum development? Uh, hello, my name is Mike, and my favorite my favorite uh, color is uh, the pink. And also, I I would like, uh, for example, when I when I have uh, free time, I would like to go to the country and okay. uh, with my friends. It's really nice uh, because I, I I have a good time with them. Uh, we only have a good time when we are out together. Yeah. I love that. Thank you for that closing statement. I have a fabulous gig, guys, and I'm sure you'll absolutely smash it. It's been Thank really you. nice to talk to you. You've been watching Wonderful. BBTV Music with Maddie and Lucy and the Rats. Thank you very much. Hola, hola, hola. Como te llamas?
Obrigado. <risos>